What is going on, beautiful people? And buenos dias, mi gente. It's your boy, Blue. And welcome back to Mexico City, where we're going to continue my virtual airline pilot career with Aero Mexico. In the last video, we had to face some intense, strong winds. But this time, we have another challenge. We are headed to Bogota, Colombia. And I've been looking forward to this one. It's a bit of a longer flight. We have a four hour trip, but it's one crazy S turn and approach in the mountains. And the elevation is like 8,000 feet. There's no ILS. We got to hand fly the whole thing. So, you know, wish me luck, but let's get into it. Okay, we are just about ready to go. We'll hit the beacon lights on and the collision lights. The signal everyone around us that we are ready to push. Mexico City, Aero Mexico 116, ready for push to start with X ray. Aero Mexico 116, Mexico Tower, good morning. Push and start approved, car ready for taxi. Yeah, we push start approved, we'll call ready for taxi. Buenos dias. Buenos. <laughs> Buenos. <laughs> nice. Cinturón de seguridad, introduce la punta metálica dentro de la hebilla y ajustalo. Para desabrocharlo, levanta la parte superior de la hebilla. Siempre llévalo abrochado, sobre todo cuando la señal del tiempo. All right, beautiful. We got two good engines. Let's go to get Gen 1 and Gen 2 popped on, as well as we'll get those packs coming back on, as well as isolation valve. We'll get the auto amper on. Make sure that the APU is now shut to off. Propeed on. Hydraulic pumps all coming on. APU bleed off. And double check again our landing elevation is 8,000. We'll check again later on. And we'll set our flaps down to five, just like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we may have a bit of an issue here. Um, I am not getting any hydraulics. And if I can't figure out why, we're not going to be able to go anywhere. What? Yo, I have. This has never happened to me in the whole year or two I've been flying the PMDG 737. Have I ever actually gotten a failure? And I've just got my first failure. A B system quantity refuel request on the hydraulics. If we take a look here, and uh, sorry, this is gonna definitely delay the flight. But uh, if I try to move my, if you look here, look at my flight controls. Look how slow and sluggish they are to get from left to right. It should be basically almost instant. Uh, and my flaps weren't going down either. Speed brakes probably won't really respond. Let's see if they'll respond. Nope, no speed brake responses. Again, flaps. Nothing's happening. And I look up top, and I see that yeah, I've got low pressure in all my hydraulic pumps. So I'm, I'm going to kind of run through my overhead here for a bit, see if I can troubleshoot this. Uh, worst case scenario, we'd have to return to the gate and and get that refilled. Uh, that that'd be That would be... um unfortunate okay so i called maintenance and thankfully we did actually have maintenance on board uh and we were able to uh figure out what the issue was and so maintenance got it fixed and if you look at the top you can now see that our low pressure lights are no longer illuminated which is amazing it's beautiful uh we now go and look down at our flight control we do a flight control check and see that they are now responsive free and correct rotor pedals everything is good as well as our flaps are now working correctly as well that's never happened to me ever since i've been flying this aircraft to get a failure now i think i do i think i i don't know i think i have failures turned on you know just for the random chance that it could happen someday but it's turned way way the heck down and i don't even know how to fix them but anyways whew, conflict averted uh atc is probably like bro why are you still sitting there in the alley uh but we've got the issue fixed so we can now call for taxi Oh my god, I was not expecting that one. Uh, Alright, let's call this guy up. 
Mexico City, uh, Aero Mexico 116 is now ready for taxi with X-ray. Aero Mexico 116, runway 05 right, QNH 3026, taxi via Lima Bravo, Bravo 3, Alpha 1, Holster runway 05 right. All right, 05 right via Lima Bravo, Bravo 3, Alpha Lima, hold short, runway 05 right, Aero Mexico 116. You can see all the Aero Mexico 737s on our left side, Valaris. I love seeing all the Latin American airlines out here. I, I believe I got everything good. I might be forgetting some, but if we are, oh well. <laughs> Hold the brakes down, we'll get us 40% here. Already there, let's go ahead and hit Toga. All right, Toga's backed in, boxed in and activated. You can obviously see we are now rolling. Land lights not on. God, no. 80 knots. <laughs> 80 knots. Oh man, we're a little heavy today. Still going. V1, There's V1. And rotate. Oh yeah, there it is. Positive rate of climb. Nice and smooth. Positive rate gear up. Man, look at that view. If you guys been following my channel, you know, in flight sim, train sim, trucking, whatever, I'm a big fan of the views of the scenery, of the scenic route. And uh, I think that's a volcano right there off our left wing. I think that's a volcano right there. It's massive. You can see the big mountain peaks out in the distance as well. So, man, 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 love it. Love, I love flying in and out of places like this. This is why I'm actually really excited about flying for Aeromexico. And uh, I'm pretty sure Bogota has some really beautiful views on the way in as well. So I can't wait for that because I've actually never flown to Bogota before. So I am really excited about that. All right, guys, we're still climbing. But really quickly, I want to make sure we're on the same page. I did not do a detailed pre-flight briefing for you guys so I want to kind of break down where we're at and where we're going with today's flight on the way to Bogota so I understand not everyone understands where Bogota is it's down here in Colombia in basically the north part of South America this is Colombia here is Bogota and we're gonna be dry flying right over all of Central America again starting here in Mexico and we're gonna have to fly over Guatemala Looks like Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, all that good stuff. And uh, again, I have honestly, personally, I don't. I think I've probably only ever flown over Central America maybe once or twice ever. But I can't remember the last time that I did it. So I'm excited to kind of fly somewhere that I haven't flown to or over in a while. So we won't be stopping in any of these countries today. Um, but hopefully we get a nice scenic look at them. And, uh, and if I notice anything interesting, I'll definitely try to call them out as we fly over them. So uh, we do, we will see a little bit of water here as we get past El Salvador. But um, that is basically our, our route. We'll be again cruising at 33,000 feet today on the way southbound Bogota. And it's looking like just over a four-hour flight one way. Um, and then our next flight on our schedule will actually be to do the return leg back to Mexico City again. And then we'll see what's up. We have a few more flights left in our current schedule. We'll probably generate a new schedule, or uh, we may see if maybe we can get a 787 license and take out the Aero Mexico 787, uh, or maybe we'll see about you know applying for another airline. I don't know. I think after we get all this done and get all these hours under our belt, uh, we'll probably have a good little resume as long as we make sure that we have a good flight. And I've already made a few mistakes in this flight, so um, we're gonna have to be very very careful um, to make sure we have a perfect landing in the Bogota today so um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about this one as you can probably tell so um, thanks you guys for riding along with me and enjoy the view
ladies and gentlemen of Flight Deck, this is your captain speaking. Yeah, I want to say welcome aboard this flight. Uh, we're just beginning our descent into Bogota, Colombia. Uh, before we do, let's make sure you grab a uh, travel document, passport form, think about from your flight attendant uh, to make sure that you have that signed and ready before we deboard the aircraft in Colombia. It's going to be requested by customs. But anyways, uh, the weather in Bogota is actually pretty nice. We're expecting uh, some calm winds. Very clear, beautiful day. Uh, remember, make sure you have your seatbelts fastened at all times during the flight. And now we're expecting a nice, smooth uh, descent and landing into Bogota. Thanks for riding along. Muchas gracias. Thank you. All right, as you heard, we are now just making our descent into Bogota. Look at that weird mountain. That can't be right. Uh, but anyway, making our way in, uh, descending now, uh, making our left turn as we meet the first waypoint on the arrival. So let's go ahead and bring the arrival up. This is my first time ever flying into Bogota, Colombia, and it's it's much needed for me to brief this arrival to make sure we get down there. Again, I cannot stress enough how important it is to have the best, um, smoothest, you know, landing possible into uh, Bogota today for our virtual pilot career. But anyway, so we're going to be coming over here over Tolum uh, at 19,000 feet. We are exactly at that right now. As we fly over Tolum, we'll continue to uh, Bravo Oscar 862. Well, we need to be at 19,000 as well and a max of 270 knots. So the aircraft is actually already slowing down to that in the background. We'll remain at 17,000 feet. Uh, as we pass through the rest of the arrival through Arupu, making a left turn there and into Nora, 17,000, 17,000. That's going to basically kind of like make a bit of an arc all the way down as our speed slowly goes down to 250, 215 knots for turbo. We're jet, so that's going to be 250 knots for us. And then 17,000 feet to make a right turn uh, as 205 down to Amvez at 215 knots. Let me make sure that's for us. Yeah, we're landing runway 32 right. So actually, three, uh, yeah, 200, 230 knots. Sorry. Uh, and then from there, we'll make our final approach. This is a completely visual approach we're doing today. This is the RNP visual flight procedure for runway 32 right. But it looks like a lot of fun. I got to say, it looks like a lot of fun. We'll be coming in uh, again from Amvez, which should be uh, up right here. There it is. Amvez is right here. It says maximum 17,000, minimum. 15,000 uh, for jets at 230 knots. So let's keep those numbers are very, very important for the success of this landing that we get those uh, those numbers right. The altitude spot on and the speeds spot on. We'll come from there and we'll make a right turn to 161. Again, a lot of mountains, very mountainous area, very high altitude airport as well. Uh, airport elevation here in Bogota, I believe is around eight, woo, 8,358. Sheesh. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be a little spicy coming in there. Uh, and the fun part is it looks like we get to do a arc approach. Oh, this is going to be nuts. This is going to be nuts. So we're going to come in. Uh, at 13,580 knots, make a left turn right here at Bow 416. Oh man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be nuts. <laughs> I haven't done an approach like this in a while, so we're gonna have to get it spot on. So I think what's really important is that we brief the go around because we, there's, it's very likely we might have to go around. Um, I don't want to smash this thing down for any means. So the go around procedure is. Runway heading 315 uh, for 6.5 miles. We'll climb to 10,800, make a right turn. Uh, once we get to B, uh, Bravo Oscar 471, and continue all the way out to Bo 473, and then basically come back around out of the mountains and try it again over by the river. So hopefully we don't have to go around. All right, guys, this is where it gets real. We are on left base. I have eyes on the airport. It is right there. Not far away at all. We can also see it on the back up here on our uh, chart where we are. Uh, currently, aircraft is still in VDAV mode, still descending on its own. So that's definitely helping me out. But uh, so far, the autopilot and VNAV are doing exactly what we uh, want and expect for it to do. But I'm not going to lie, guys. There's not many approaches that make me nervous. And right now, I got butterflies. Um, just to be completely 100 with you guys. <laughs> so, but I think we'll be okay. The good news is it's, it's a nice, uh, clear day. It's, uh, 
great visibility, beautiful view, and uh, I'm just gonna enjoy every second of this. We got a land lights on already. Uh, we'll go ahead and just kind of pre-configure everything early uh, as things are gonna happen very, very fast once I get the autopilot turned off. Uh, we're currently sitting at flaps five. We're transponding. Um, there's no VATSIM ATC on right at the moment. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go speed intervene here and start taking control of that early. And we'll go flaps 10. This is gonna be a tight turn. You can kind of see some of the city out there as well popping up. This is gonna be so much fun. I love approaches like these, but they do make me nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. But alright, we're at 12,000 feet. We are slowing down. Do we need drag? Uh, not. I'll, I'll add a little bit of drag here. It's gonna slow down nicely. So that way we can start dropping the gear. I want to get the gear down here. Alright, we are definitely slow enough for gear. Gears coming down. Last 15. And we're about to be turning our base here. The butt kicker kicking me in the butt right now. Not sure if you can hear that on the mic. So basically, if you're don't know already, uh, we're making a hard left turn here once we get past this next waypoint, and it wants to be below 160 knots. I'm at 153. I got you beat. All right, let's go a little bit more on the flaps. Gear's already down, and I'm gonna get ready to fly this in by itself. Cannot let the autopilot have all the fun. So here it is, my controls. All right, wish me luck, guys. Well, tip flaps 30. Hopefully, that's not too bad. 2,500. I know the airport elevation is freaking uh, <laughs> 8,000 feet. So I'm doing my best to follow the flight director. Let that guide me in as we do the basically the arc approach in two, three, two, right. Let's call in. Focus on traffic. Air Mexico one one six left base to final runway three two right Bogota. So there's the left side over there, left runway on our left, and the right one is just a bit farther than that. Flight director is definitely helping me out here. I'm just kind of following the flight director in. There's no ILS on this approach, so I didn't have any ILS information to, to put in, but we are getting some RNAV guidance, which is nice. All right, there's our runway right there. Bogota traffic. Uh, Aerobasco 116 is on uh, short final. 3 2 right. Bogota. That was not on purpose. I legit forgot what my call sign was. That's how. That's how, like, occupied my brain is right now. Alright, let's bring that power back just a little bit. There's a runway right there. Alright, friends. Looking really good. Looking really good. We're landing. We're, we're landing. Don't forget to breathe, guys. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Alright, traffic holding short there. A little high. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're down. Here comes the reversals. Whew, 80 knots. There's 60. Whew. 
sheesh. <laughs> Why was I so stressed out? Oh man, all right guys, exit left when able. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bogota. Thanks for riding along with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bogota. The local <laughs> Look at the ground crew down there off floating the plane. Love it. Maybe one day we can fly Delta too. Who knows? Delta A330. All right, let's bring up Simbit Tool World thing again <laughs> and uh, see how we did. So go over to our logbook and take a look at our flight. And here is our log. So we came in with a score of a 95 overall and landing rating was 255. So, you know, obviously not the softest landing. I would love to get sub 200, but I think 255 is, is, is nothing to be to whine about, to be honest with you. 95 XP, uh, 1.15 on the landing G-Force, so not bad at all either. Uh, as far as everything else, it looks like we failed during the climb to turn our landing lights off. It says before 10,000 feet, so um, uh, that's probably true. Uh, on takeoff, I do remember not you know, forgetting to turn the landing lights off or on at that point too. So I know those are two very easy things that I could have fixed that I just, you know, we were so, you know, caught up by the whole maintenance issue we had um, that I just wasn't completely on it in this flight, honestly. Uh, as far as taxi in, uh, it has a little dock for us uh, not turning the taxi lights on or off or something like that as well as our spoilers. I didn't realize our spoilers were still up. So a few little things, uh, but we still ended up with a 95 score. I'll take it, especially for my first flight out to Bogota with the issues that we had and all the stuff I had on my plate. It was just kind of a lot, but this is what it looks like, guys. This is the breakdown of the flight report. It's very, very detailed. Um, I love it. It has a very nice detail. You can see exactly how we did, where we flew altitudes. Our final flight time was four hours and 11 minutes. So pretty cool flight. First flight to Bogota, but highly, Highly recommend it, and I actually personally can't wait to fly out here again. It's gonna be pretty cool. Well, guys, this was fun, and um, I'm don't. Thankfully, I do not have to turn this aircraft around right now and fly back to Mexico City for another four hours. Uh, I am done for the day, um, but I will have to return back to Bogota and then continue with the rest of our schedule. So we'll see where we end up next, because um, we may generate a new schedule and continue flying or who knows we'll see come back next time to see how we progress in our career with aeromexico or maybe without aeromexico one thing's for sure though for my stay in colombia i'm gonna go get me some uh colombian arepas or whatever it is colombians eat if you're colombian or know a lot about colombian food let me know in the comments what do you recommend uh for some good colombian cuisine all right anyways guys until next time remember you have three choices give up give in or give it all you got peace love and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time, next video. I'm out, baby. Sheesh.